All right, guys. We've got one more story to uh, talk about today, and this is this is speaking of Twitter being an awful, ridiculous cesspool of a website. I want to talk about Twitter drama. This Twitter drama features someone that I don't know who this person is. Risky Titanic. I have no idea who this person is, but someone thinks I do. Someone named Deb Philman thinks that I do. Now, Deb Philman, this is Deb. Deb runs the Reason We Learn YouTube channel and also Locals. You may recognize Deb because I used to have her on this channel all the time. And then Deb colluded with other people to stab me in the back. Was always nice to her. Was always supportive of her. Until she colluded with a band of interlopers to stab me in the back. And then I called her out publicly for it. And she tweeted at me and said, Carlin, you should really feel grateful that we're trying to steal your work. Because because if, 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 if it's no one's idea, it's everyone's idea. And every, and every idea can be stolen. That was a paraphrase of what she said. That was not a direct quote of what she said. That was a paraphrase of what she said. And so ever since then, ever since then, um, I really haven't, you know, been supportive of her. Because why would I be? You fuck me once. And you will probably, though not conclusively but probably be on my shit list for a good long time, at least until you acknowledge that what you did was shady as fuck. So Deb has been bitter about me ever since, and Deb interacts with a band of stalkers. Deb is part of the bullying horde of people on Twitter who interact with that stalker account and do nothing all day. Now, the reason I bring this up is that um, someone alerted me earlier today that Deb was talking shit about me over the weekend, and of course she was. And I was trying to have art weekend. And so I really wasn't paying attention. And her talking shit about me doesn't really bother me that much because, like, why would it? <laughs> but in this case, Deb decided to talk shit about my husband. Now, my husband is not a public person. My husband is one of the best people that I know in my life. My husband does not deserve to have shit talked about him on Twitter. But let's look at what happened. So... Apparently, th th this is part of a longer thread. We're not going to read all through this stuff. It has to do with Ukraine, whatever. Um, obviously, this person uh, supports Ukraine. They've got a Ukraine flag in their profile. And they're saying stuff to Deb, blah, 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 whatever. And so Deb responded, I like to tweet asking the question, who decides a war criminal is, and making it pretty clear, I think we're having some of our own. Nothing, let me make this bigger. Let me make this larger. Um, nothing about that says he's not one. They're talking about whether or not Putin, I guess, or Zelensky is a war criminal. I don't really know. It actually doesn't really matter in the course of this conversation. Then this Ruski guy says, okay, Deborah. And then this asshole, this guy I blocked on Twitter a long time ago because he was a creepy asshole that was interacting with my stalkers, says, go to sleep, Carlin. So now they assume this is me. They think this person, because they've got a Ukraine flag, in their Twitter profile, they, they assume that all Twitter accounts that don't agree with them are me. It's not me. I was at Art Weekend. I don't have, I don't use any of my, any of my sock accounts to actually say things. I just use them to monitor what you guys are doing. So this, now, now, now this person said me, and look at what Deb says. It's her husband. Deb is so unhinged that she thinks my husband has made a random fucking troll account in order to troll her on Twitter. Now, let me show you my husband's real Twitter account. This is Victor's actual Twitter account. He never uses it. He doesn't even use Twitter. This picture of Victor was taken before we even started dating. Over 11, look how young he was. He looks so young. Wasn't my husband handsome? He's still very handsome. I think he's handsome, but he was handsome then too. This was the picture that made me fall in love with him. Not really. Not really. <laughs> but hang on. <coughs> Sorry to cough into the mic. Hang on. <coughs> oh, God. This is what my husband does to me. God, this is fucking cold, man. I swear. But I want to show you Victor's Twitter account. The last tweet that Victor sent was in 20... Well, the last official tweet he sent was in 2013. He doesn't even use this account. <coughs> and then if we go into the replies you'll see that every once in a while he responds to something I say 
But really, he doesn't use Twitter, okay? So the notion that my husband made a troll account in order to stop... And, and just because this person knows her name, aha, I know, it's Carlin's husband on Twitter. And then this person's like, oh my god, you're right, Deb. That must be Carlin's husband. There is no other possible explanation for why this person might disagree with them and have a Ukraine flag in their Twitter profile that is not, this must be Carlin's husband. And then she says, he doesn't even follow me, so that's the only way he know my name or that much about me. If, if she were telling him sad, he obviously believes her bullshit too. So Deb believes that the only reason that someone might know that her name is Deborah, since she doesn't actually have it on her Twitter profile, is if they know me. That is patently untrue. Deb uses her real name on her fucking YouTube channel. Deb has thousands of subscribers on her fucking YouTube channel where she says her real fucking name. But no, the only way that someone could possibly know her name is Deborah is if they're married to me. And then this person says, Deb, I've seen countless of your YouTube videos. You've re retweeted me. You've used my tweets in one of your shows. Don't descend into stupid conspiracy. Like, this person is literally having to defend themselves from Deb thinking, from Deb asserting that they're married to me. And then Deb says, then who are you? Because you've obviously changed your entire persona and are now making up crap if you're taking one like and accusing me of supporting a war criminal. And then this person says, I haven't changed my persona. I'm anti-woke, but I'm also Ukrainian and my family is under air raid siren right now and every day. I'm up because I'm waiting to hear where the missiles hit. So these fucking conservatives whitewashing Putin can suck my balls. And then, um, and then uh, you know, Deb, Deb seems to realize that she was stupid on it. But look at this. Okay, so we go into this one and, and look at this person's replies to go to sleep, Carlin. This person knows who I am, says Borisenko, I'm a dude. And then Deb says, again, again, doubles down. Then you're Victor. Whatever, dude, tell your wife. She can go fuck herself. So Deb is telling random fucking people on Twitter that she thinks are married to me, that are not married to me in any way, shape, or form, to tell me to go fuck myself. All right. All right. And then this person actually has to, like, they they actually have to spell it out for them. This person says, I'm only so fucking well-versed in all this crap. I know all your names because I'm really into the anti-woke school salvation movement and know all of you. I'm from Chicago. I'm not Victor. In your anti-establishment fervor, you all swung to rationalizing war crimes. <laughs> and then this person is, like, doubling down. You, you claim we've interacted previously, so who are you? As though it's some goddamn conspiracy. And, and I want to say this too. <coughs> this is actually not the first time they've done this shit. So there was another account. This didn't involve Deb. This involved two other people that I'm not going to name. But they literally started stalking someone on YouTube that they thought was me, was like my secret YouTube account that I don't even have. But they convinced themselves that it was my secret YouTube account and they began stalking it to try to prove it was me. So... I just wanted to, like, vindicate my husband on this. Because Deb actually has a, a bunch of followers. Deb has, what, like, almost 6,000 followers? Okay, not as many as me. Fine. But she's going around accusing random people on Twitter of being my husband and trolling her just because she hates me? That wasn't my husband. Confirmed. That was not my husband. In fact, I, I came downstairs this morning because I found all this out while I was, like, laying in bed. And I said, Victor, you're not going to believe this. And of course, Victor was like, I've seen it because I tweeted it because I tweeted it. Hang on. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up on my personal profile. So you guys are just going to need a second here to find the right thing. So let me see. Da -da 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 -da. OK, so this morning. I tweeted. Holy shit, Deb is convinced that some random Twitter troll is my husband. These people are unhinged. They just make shit up constantly. Deb, I promise that if this was my husband, that it, that if my husband actually cared enough to troll you on Twitter, he'd be man enough to use his own account. And then, so the first time I sent this tweet, I actually tagged Victor's account in it. 
And then like immediately I was like, I don't want Victor getting all these replies or whatever. So I deleted the tweet and I took his account out of it. And but Victor had already seen the notification pop up on his phone. So I went downstairs this morning. I was like, Victor, you're not going to believe this. And Victor was so incredulous. He was like, I've already seen it. Like I would call myself Russian Titanic. Like I'm the biggest fan of Titanic. I was like, ooh, DiCaprio. He went into this whole thing about how he hates Titanic and he would never call. This is the thing that Victor was most offended about. He was like, I would never call myself Ruski Titanic. (laughs) So I just want to confirm that Deb Philman is wrong. That was not my husband on Twitter. And yes, Deb, you harassed a random fucking person on Twitter because you're so obsessed with me that you just assume that everyone who who disagrees with you is related to me in some way. I have no idea who this person is. I don't believe I've ever interacted with them, although maybe I'll follow them now. Maybe I will follow them on Twitter now. But I'm going to defend my husband's honor because he doesn't deserve to have his name dragged through the mud just because some bitch has lost her mind on fucking Twitter. And that's all I have for the show you today, you guys. We had to end on some Twitter drama. We haven't done Twitter drama in a while. I would just like, I just, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And I'm not going to allow my husband's name to be smeared on Twitter. These, these people smear me enough. And I will take it myself, because contrary to what Jeremy wants to tell you, you don't get canceled just because people send you mean tweets and say mean things on Twitter. You don't. So, but I will defend my husband's honor. All right, guys, that is all we have for the show today. Again, if you appreciate the work I'm doing, I hope you will mount that like button. I hope that you will subscribe on my channel. I do content almost every day of the week whether it be live content or clips of content or other assorted things, you can always find me at five o'clock live on this channel on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. On Friday, you can find me on my second channel, Actively Unwoke, for a happy hour. We are coming back with happy hour this week. We've missed the last two weeks of happy hour, but we will be back on Friday. We're going to do a nice woke training. We will, we will walk shit. We will make fun of it. I will drink. You can drink too if you want. But if you want to support the work I'm doing, the very best thing you can do is join me in my Locals community. You can head over to kb.locals.com support and join for $5 a month. You can join for $45 for the year for this week only. This is going up to 50 bucks at the end of the week. And if you join right now, that gets you three months for free. Or you can make a one-time gift. When you join and become a member of my community, you get access to our community Zoom calls. We do two of them a week. I spend between six to eight hours every week on private, unrecorded, uncensored Zoom calls with my locals community. Sometimes I even dish the dirt about more drama than I'm willing to talk about on video. But we're doing one in about half an hour, so you have half an hour from now to become a member of my locals and you can join our Zoom call at 7 p.m. My community is nice and welcoming. We're gonna make you feel at home. We're gonna listen to you. We're going to encourage you. We will have great conversations with you. Come and check it out. Honestly, it, it, listen, man, listen, if you're not sure you want to join for annual, that's fine. You can join for five bucks. If you hate my community and think it's awful, which you won't, it's only five bucks. I mean, come on. But instead, you could access the best community on all of locals and find out that it's the perfect place for you, which I think most people will. So come and join me at kb.locals.com slash support. Come to our community Zooms. Come to our book club. All that good stuff. Guys, I will be back live at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Take care, and we'll see you soon.